to you about Silent Disco. You. <laughs> <laughs> When I first read Silent Disco, there was there were things that Lachlan was doing on the page that I had not seen any Australian writer do. I'd seen him attempt to do it, but he was actually pulling it off in a way that was really exciting and made me want to try and stand it up on its feet. Okay, considering the fact that you're writing uh, teenagers uh, and the voice of teenagers in that space between say 13 and 17. How did you, how did you, I, actually I, it's a real question, how do you come at writing that kind of rhythm? Um, I think that I'm quite a good mimic. Yeah. I've got a good, I think I've always been quite a good mimic and I mean I, I think that people kind of overestimate how complex, um, you know, the language of teenagers is as well. But I guess having been a teacher for a long time I've kind of picked it up. I like to listen to people. We're exposed to a lot of, um, you know, just we're exposed to a lot more teenage um, media on television, online, everywhere else. So it is quite easy to pick up. It's funny though because I think it shifts quite quickly as well. So you know, in two years, this, people might be going, "Oh my God, this sounds really old-fashioned." Can you tell us a bit about the cast? I still go to bed each night knocking on wood that everybody's going to be okay the next day because I, I just want this for the group of four people to make it to the stage with the it, story. It would be hard to replace them. Any of them. They're all, they're all very special, I think. Lee. Lachlan. Why do you think that everyone should come and see Silent Disco? Okay. There are many reasons, but I can't actually think of a list all at the same time. So, A, because everyone should go and see Australian work, first of all. Because if we don't, if we're not looking at stories told uh, by writers in this country, then we're letting the rest of the world write the story of our lives for us, and I think that's wrong. Oh, um, good. And then be silent disco because, oh, because it's truly awful to relive moments from your teenage life, and you really should just to remind yourself of how far you've come. Just to go, oh, thank God I'm not in that time, because there's something amazing in this play which makes you just cringe, but in a good way. <laughs>